Hi, I'm from Enactus Imperial, and today I'm going to talk to you about our project Kenya Jiko Stove. In June 2016, we contacted our project partner in Mesh Foundation to conduct a thorough needs assessment about life in Gajanshiro. In a village, the majority of villagers derive their income from farming, and the average income of a working adult is one pound per day. This is only enough to support a household's very basic needs and fluctuates depending on a year's harvest leading to a number of social, economic, and environmental problems in the village. Parents can't afford to send their children to secondary school, and there is a high adult illiteracy rate. In addition to the underlying poverty, the cost of the main fuel for cooking with firewood is also rising due to high levels of deforestation. And this is a significant problem in the village as firewood is a major household expense. Some households spend up to 50 pennies per day on firewood, and this is 50% of their daily income. Upon further research, we discovered that the cooking stoves used by the villagers are inefficient. The current stoves used are three stone stoves, which is a traditional way of cooking. Using the three stone stoves not only requires a significant amount of firewood for cooking, but also results in a great deal of smoke, which causes respiratory problems amongst the villagers, along with a negative environmental impact. Inactus Imperial is resolving this by reducing household expenditure through the implementation of Jiko stoves, a more energy efficient cooking stove that will reduce the amount spent on firewood. Jiko stoves work by reducing the amount of heat lost to the surroundings, as the overall design is much more insulating than the three stone stove. The Jiko stove we have designed can be made within three hours using locally materials at low cost. The stoves are made from vermiculite clay and cement, making the stove robust, insulating and durable. They are more ergonomic to use than three stone stoves so families are able to cook more easily and more quickly. Furthermore, as the Jiko stove has built in chimneys, smoke is diverted away from the user to outside their home. This mitigates some of the major health issues associated with soot inhalation. The stove's design is a result of collaboration between Engineers Without Borders, another society in Imperial College London, and using the data collected from our pilot program, we will further develop the design. One of the challenges that we have identified is the issue of standardization and mass producing the stoves. But we already have uh, plans and strategies to mitigate this problem by issuing a license for each entrepreneur who is trained by us on how to make and sell the stoves. And we have also finalized a thorough set of procedures which includes agreed deliverables for both the entrepreneurs and collaborating parties. We also aim to increase our social impact by introducing an evaluation form for people who cannot afford a Chico stove and create a donation scheme for these people via online platforms in London. Once the Jiko Stove business is established and have generated sufficient revenue to break even to be self-sustaining, we will initiate the second phase of the project, which is to create a portable water boiler empowering the same group of entrepreneurs in making and selling them. Thank you.